everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. I'm Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Um, today we're going to talk about election tools, tools that you can use to cover the 2020 election. Um, if you go to journalisttoolbox.org on our homepage here, uh, down on the left-hand side, you also find it uh, up fairly high on the page. Uh, we have election 2020 resources that you can click on uh, there or on the left-hand rail right down here uh, on the side. Uh, you can just go in and collect, uh, click on elections politics. Uh, and once you go to the elections page, um, we've got it broken down uh, by uh, current uh, elections and also some past ones. You'll get down uh, lower and you'll see 2016 and 2012 and so on. Um, but up here at the top, we've got some of our key tools that we're using. A lot of them are fi campaign finance related tools. Um, and the ones we're going to work with, we're going to take a look at the can uh, FEC itemizer from ProPublica. Um, this is a really good tool uh, for looking up campaign finance contributions. We'll also look at the FEC's website itself, the Federal Election Commission, at fec.gov. Uh, and we'll also play with one other little tool that's kind of fun, the Google Data GIF Maker. It's good for election night results if you're putting in into a uh, little uh, uh, GIF and want to put it on a social media attachment, maybe update results from the election. So if you want to hit pause right now, uh, and open these three websites up. Uh, you can just Google ProPublica FEC itemizer, fec.gov, and then just Google the term Google Data Gift Maker. Um, we also have more training videos at uh, journalisttoolbox.org on the left-hand rail. Uh, so hit pause right now and take a minute to open those three up. And we'll start uh, with the ProPublica itemizer. Okay, this is uh, ProPublica's election data bot. Um, what they've done here is taken uh, FEC filings. Um, these are uh, the different committees and, and organizations that have uh, uh, contributed money uh, to campaigns and they've required to file um, everything from super PACs to uh, individuals, uh, various organizations, things like that. And you'll see down at the bottom of the page today's filings. They'll show... Uh, uh, the name uh, of the organization, you know, Friends of Glenn Thompson, uh, goes over here, uh, talks about, you know, what the notice is, uh, how much money uh, came in, how much money is being spent. It just gives all their financials right here. Uh, you can also search by committees and dig back. You can also uh, look by various races by your state. Um, but I can go here and I, let's say I want to know how much money, uh, you know, uh, is uh, Google's PAC uh, uh, donating. Um, I can go in here and sure as heck, there's their net pack. It's based out of Washington, D.C. Uh, we can look back at other uh, cycles. Uh, there's a the name of their treasurer right there. Uh, it lists all their spending, cash is on hand, uh, their receipts, um, how much they're spending on various races, um, and then some of their monthly uh, breakdown of data. You can see the raw data here. Uh, and then you can go in in a little more detail right on here. So if you're looking up political action committee data pretty quickly, uh, I'll tell you what, the ProPublica site's much easier to use than FEC.gov if you're just trying to pull data very quickly. This is FEC.gov. This is the Federal Election Commission. Um, uh, the website's a little unwieldy, but uh, you know once you kind of get the hang of it and start using it, uh, it, it becomes a little bit easier. Um, I always assign my students at UIC uh, 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 some races to, uh, or some candidates to track. Um, and, uh, you know, it's always fun to, to kind of dig through here and, and you'll find all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can look up your neighbors, look up uh, uh, various celebrities in your city or your area uh, and see who they're donating to and how much. So, uh, go under campaign finance data in this upper pull down menu. And one of the best ways to learn how to use a site like this is just to start going through the pull down menus and seeing what's here. And you can uh, pull down uh, uh, campaign fundraising, campaign spending, uh, pull, look by uh, individual candidates. I'm going to look at raising, first of all. Um, it's got some subcommittees here or subtopics here with uh, candidates, committees, things like that. You know, committees very similar to the FEC uh, itemizer that we just looked at. Um, I'm going to look at all receipts, search at all receipts. And over here on the left hand side is where you do most of your searching. This will be typical of most pages that you'll find. Um, you know, again, there's 91 uh, million uh, filtered results here. Uh, you also have uh, all the little X's up here. Uh, that allows you to uh, decide what dates you want to look at. Um, so I'm going to type in the name or ID 
you know, type in Trump, and it'll give you a pull down of a lot of his different committees. Uh, uh, Trump for President Inc. is his main one, but there's other ones here, you know, Georgia for Trump, uh, Trump Victory, uh, various other organizations that are raising money for his campaign. Uh, so I've gone in and selected Trump, and again, I can narrow these dates down if I wanted to, to, you know, I've got it down to 1.6 million. As you can see, this covers, uh, you know, a lot of time here, um, basically from uh, the start of 2019 uh, to uh, through the end of 2020. But, you know, if I can get rid of these um, and start to narrow it down a little bit, um, it'll start to, uh, to uh, give me fewer records, or, you know, in this case, it gives me all of them since I took all those parameters out. Um, you can then hit the download button, um, and ex it'll allow you to export it eventually. Uh, you'll be able to pull this up in a spreadsheet, and it'll have great detail uh, on uh, the name of the person or the organization that donated money to him, how much they donated. You can see there's a lot of money uh, uh, changing hands here. Uh, the Great uh, Make America Great Again Committee you know, gave three million here, one point or uh, fifty-three thousand here. Um, it goes all the way down, you know, to two hundred and fifty, uh, um, uh, two hundred fifty dollar donations, uh, even even a little smaller. Um, so you can go in here and you can get address, name, uh, all kinds of detail on the, the donor. And again, this is all uh, public record. Um, and you can download these different databases. Um, so um, you can take and sort and filter those databases by amounts. Uh, you can group them by uh, name of the committee, name of person, by zip codes, all kinds of different things. Uh, and really examine these for your community. Again, it's the key is hitting uh, you know, the download button. And then the little export button, it'll give you the option to download it as a CSV file spreadsheet or something like that. Um, and you can just go through here and just kind of uh, uh, play with the different uh, uh, parameters. Um, you know, I'll try typing in Biden here and see what we get. Biden for president's his main one. Um, and again, you know, a lot of records there, not as many donors. Um, uh, again, but because it doesn't go back as, as far. Um, and, uh, you know, there's all of the donors for Joe Biden. Data Gift Maker. This is a tool that comes from the Google News Lab. Um, if you are working on election night and need to show results visually very quickly on a social media channel, uh, this is a good little tool for it. It's not good for you know bigger graphics and analysis, but if you just need a quick little visual that you can turn very, very quickly, uh, you can uh, do it in this uh, little format, create a little GIF file, attach it to a tweet, and have it out there pretty quickly. It's good for, you know, updates throughout the night. And I'll show you a couple of different uh, uh, templates for this. First one is rectangles in the upper left-hand corner. It's very popular for uh, election night results. And it gives you two options. You can look by percentage uh, or by whole number, uh, and it'll convert it for you. Um, so let's do a title up here would be nice presidential election and I'll type in Joe Biden and he'll get 53% and then Donald Trump will get 47 and I see what colors we have available uh, no red for uh, uh, Trump here um, and then once you download this, this is a little preview of what it looks like. This is a little animation that will come out um, and got a nice, you can do this for your local races as well. Um, so that's the preview. Uh, if I want to save my gift, you can save it as high quality, which takes a little while to load. Uh, low quality, which also looks nice, uh, but, you know, it takes a little less time to download. Um, it'll take a little while to mix here. Uh, you'll see the little toolbar move over here. Um, once it's done, you'll be able to uh, open it up. Uh, and then you just right click on it and download it. Uh, it's really, really quick and dirty, very easy download. Uh, and you could keep updating this uh, throughout the night, the same template, change the numbers in it, keep downloading it, uh, and you'll be able to uh, take it then uh, and uh, attach it to your tweet. So there it is. That's what the GIF will look like. It's about 40, uh, anywhere from around 187 to 200 uh, uh little individual GIF files, control click on it, save image as,
say that was 35% of the vote that's in, that's the percentage. I can do it by whole numbers too, by votes as well. Um, note that it saves automatically as a GIF image. You'll download it. There it is. You'll double click on it. You'll see it's white at the start here. All your little images are down here on the side. As I start to click through it, you'll start to see the image grow. All it's doing is playing through those individual slides. There you go, 127 for this one. It's a little smaller. There's another template in here, and you can just attach that image right to your tweet or your social media post. Um, there's another template in here, too, uh, that you can go into. It's called Racetrack, which is a real popular one. Racetrack works very similar. Um, it just uh, has a little different presentation. And away we go when we hit the preview. Watch them race. This is good if you have like multiple candidates, you know, more than just uh, one. It's not quite the same uh, as the other uh, presentation, but it's all right. Um, you know, I could also do it, you know, whole numbers if it did the total number of votes uh, in here, which might be a little, little better presentation. Let's say in my state, Trump got or uh, Biden got 70,455 votes. Trump got 47,321. Gives the votes here, racetrack here. Plays out a little bit better. And there you go. Gives you the option to save the GIF then. And you can just download it to your desktop, same as the other one. Real nice little presentation and very easy to update. Again, you know, this is good for your social media desk if they need to take it uh, and develop it very, very quickly. That's all we had for now.